I got a few, but then it smashed the fuck out of stop loss. So if you guys did end up hopping in that, didn't get a quick 20 pips and then get out, then you feel me? That shit would have hit your stop loss as well. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then we're just going to quickly look at these pairs, see which ones are juicy. Yo, sell SPX. What? Sell XPX. Throw the numbers in. I got you. Hold on. It's not like fucking computer slow. Just sell it right now and I'll give it to you. Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I'm looking at, I'm going to just show you exactly what I'm looking at and why I'm looking at it. All right. So, first things first, we got AU right here. Um, I'm following the uptrend, as you see. And I'm expecting it to either come right here and hop in for the buy or come right here and hit this trend line up here, which is my monthly trend line. And that's a strong, very strong, very strong, very strong point because it's from my monthly. So since it's from my monthly, I'm really paying attention to when it gets there. Like I said, so I'm either waiting for it to come right here so I can hop in the buy and come over here or it come right here and hop on that cell and go brazy. All right, so that's AU. All right, now here's EA. All right, there we go. Now, here's EA. Also, I am following the uptrend, as you guys see, and I'm expecting it to come right here, probably to this 63983 level. Once it comes right here, we're hopping in for the buy, following that uptrend, trying to get a quick 10%. Remember, guys, we're just trying to get 10%. We're not trying to catch a million pips, like Noah's saying, 10%. So I'm going to follow the same thing that he's telling everybody else to do. All right, and that's what we're hoping from EA. But as soon as it comes there, we're looking to catch about 90 pips. But as long as we get 10%, we're happy. All right, that's EA. <clears throat> we also got EJ. EJ's been playing with everybody since fucking Sunday, as we all know. I hopped in at about twice. Noah's hopped in about, I think, twice, and we both got stopped out. So it's looking like um, it's finally got to its sell point which is at this 600 level, or sorry, this 26 level, 126. And um, if we can get this to buy back to this 126 level, we can hop in and for the sell. If not, then it's gonna sell to about right here, which is this uh, 125, 200 level. And let me show you guys where I got that line from. And that is also my weekly trend line. So what I want to happen is, is playing around and I need it to close below this line. So let me go back down and show you guys because I'm expecting it to sell. So if that bit closes below this line, you know, then we're selling it for years. But what I wanted to do is come up here so that we can hop in for the sell. Who knows? As you guys see, it's already creating this downtrend motion. So if it breaks this structure right here within these next 10 minutes, it's coming back this way. And then once it comes back this way, hopping in that bid for 70 something pips. But remember, we're only looking for 10%, but we could capitalize on the whole 70 pips. All right, that's EJ, EN. Got a lot of pairs, y'all. I got a lot of pairs set, set up. You feel me? 
So EN, I'm expecting it to come right back to this 8100 level. Once it comes back up here, I'm expecting it to hop in for the sell. All right, and that's just simple market structure following simple uh, support or resistance. So if you don't know support and resistance, guess what? It's in the academy. But you know, we got y'all, you feel me? I'm gonna I'm be playing a go live uh, right after I go over these pairs with you guys. All right. What's, what's up? I don't know if like, can you hear me or my buffer and shit. No, you you can. All right, so like I see like every time you click like the, the different hours, the thirty minutes, the four hours, and all that shit, you can buy or sell in each in any one of those that you want. Right. Right. Yeah. So you can hop in each and every one of them. Or I'm tripping. Yes, you could look at each and every one. However, they're doing the same exact thing. So what you see this four hour. Yeah. Right here, all all it's doing is telling me what's happening, the history of each of these candles. If I the closer the down, time frame, the more exact your entry is. I mean, the smaller so time if, frame. If we're here on the one hour from the four hour, as you see from this four hour candle, this past four hour, we're gonna see what what happened in that past four hour. Looking at the hour, so when I come here, you got one, two, three, four. So these four candles happened in this one okay. uh, one four hour candle. So yes, you can. However, the like she said, smaller is for more precise. So you can see what's going on when it gets there okay. or when it gets to a certain point. All right. yeah. no, so smaller time frame is just history of what's going on in the bigger time frame. All right, in detail. Um, did I go over? The, yeah, so I said this the following simple market structure. Um, as you guys seen here, it came to this market structure right here, retraced. I'm expecting it to drop again. So it's, it, you know, the simple creating lower lows. But I need that bitch to come back right here for us. Who knows? We might have missed it. All right, that's EN. Now let's look at EU. <clears throat> so EU, I have that it broke structure. So all I'm looking for is a retest on one of these zones. If I get a retest on this zone, I'm hopping in for the buy. Or if I get the retest on this zone, on this buy trend line, I'm going for the buy. But regardless, I'm following the uptrend. Always follow the trend that the market is going in. Okay. And as you guys see, it's from the most recent. So four hours, I didn't get this from the weekly. I didn't get this from monthly. These are my um, weekly and monthly lines. These are my weekly and monthly lines. These are just, what up, boy, my trade back on. What's good, fam? Um, these are all from my four hour zones from what's been going on since July. So it's been creating an uptrend since July. So I'm going to follow that uptrend since July. All right. <clears throat> And I leave notes, leave notes for yourself so that, you know, I'll be bugged. So you feel me, I'll be, I'll be forgetting. So, hey, leave notes regardless. All right, now we're looking at GA. So GA I have on a second touch, right? Still from the four hour time frame. this market structure from the four hour, this trend line from the four hour. However, this trend line over here for my weekly. So you guys that following this uptrend as you guys see since 2016 september it's been in an uptrend so i'm going to continue following that uptrend however it did break structure right here so as you guys see it came through came through broke structure now this is what we call <clears throat> waiting on the retest when it breaks through structure it is a support turned resistance support turned resistance because it is now reacting to the ceiling so since it touched right here uh about what one two three three weeks ago four weeks ago it's now finally going to either come back and start wicking this and start dropping down dropping down so we might get a whole different trend rotation now since from like i said since from september of 2016 
that that's a big move that we can get into and then it'll start forming a downturn all right so let me show you guys the four hour so when i'm waiting for a ga is i'm waiting for it to retest either market structure as you guys see this is a strong zone since the 10th of august it's been a very strong zone even before as you see um very strong zone here not saying that these lines are precise this is exactly where it's going to rotate but this is the zone where i should be watching for a rotation in the market and what i'm waiting for is a retest you see i put wait on retest i'm waiting on the retest of this market structure or the retest of my trend line to go in for the sell. once it does that we're hopping in the cell for about 80 pips remember guys 10 percent that's all we're looking for but if we get blessed with 80 pips, we get blessed with 80 pips. All right. That's GA. Now, GJ, I got, like I said, I got a lot of setups. All right. All right. So with GJ, same thing. Following the uptrend from July. Continue, continue. Um, last night, when I sent uh, that trade, we were going to hop in right, right here. Look at how close the market got for us and didn't enter us in, which is kind of wicked. It's kind of it's kind of green, but you know that's what the market does. We had our our um our order placed right here, literally right here. But it didn't get there, so it didn't enter us in because the market is very precise. So because it didn't enter us in, it ended up going about like 90 pips, if I'm not mistaken. If that bitch went up 130 pips, y'all boys, 140 pips that we missed out on just because of that little wick that didn't touch us. I was grits. So what I'm waiting for now, though, is I understand that this is still in an uptrending market. Now it's either going to close below and I will go back for the sell because that means it's going to retrace or it's going to let me know that the G pair is still strong as shit and is gonna close above and hop in for the buy. That is the trade that JDR also sent. So what JDR, um, for you that have the JDR order in, he has you guys entering about 250, if I'm not mistaken. So he has you guys literally entering about right here. I put it closing above. So it's about the 215 area. So we're kind of looking at the same thing right now. He probably just sees it a different way. However, as you guys see, it's coming back down here. Price is right here right now. So we still need price to eat up 50 something pips almost, almost four, almost 50 pips for us to even get into this market for or to get into this trade for a buy. So yeah, we know it's about to go up. Maybe that's where we're expecting it to go, up, but we're we have an analysis. So with that analysis, we need it to come right here before we hop into a buy. We don't we're not gonna hop into the buy right here because we know it's going up. We need it to go up first to confirm that that is gonna go up. That is why we don't just enter and say, since you already know who's gonna buy, why not buy right now? No, your analysis needs to play out. All right, <clears throat> just like everything I said over here, these analysis have to play out for me to take it. I know it's gonna sell, but I need it to come over here first and then sell. All right, that's GJ. How many more do I have? Like six? Uh, about six, yeah. All right, GN now. So same thing. A lot of these pairs have been in an uptrend in these past few weeks. So this has been in an uptrend since uh, same thing, August. So I'm following that uptrend. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting on this retest because it broke structure. Broke structure, came back in, but broke structure again. So it's not, it's not, it don't like up here. It don't like it. Uh, it's obviously saying, I don't like up there, Michael. I want to come down here. So what I'm waiting for though, is for it to retest this zone one more time. Now, if it retests it and closes below this zone, then 100% I'm going for that sell. I'm going for that sell for about, if it retests, it'll probably retest about up here for about 100 pips. Now remember guys, 10%. 100 pips will be lovely, but we're looking for 10%. That's what we're waiting on on this one. So as we all know, once it hits 3 a.m., um, the call will probably be over, almost over, and these these pairs will be about ready to be entered. But we're, we gotta wait. 
All right, so we got about 10 minutes left and then I'm gonna send another, another one. All right, so that's GN. All right, GU has been in the consolidation since about July 20th or July 30th of 2020. The consolidation you see has been going up and down. I can even throw in a little zone right here, but I'd rather not. So what I have a note is wherever the four hour close is what I'm doing. So if this comes up here and it touches this zone and it closes below the zone we're getting in for the sell, because that means it's one touch, two touch, three touches, even though it broke through. It broke through each time it came there. So if it breaks through again and it closes here, then we're hopping in for the buy. And even if we're gonna look for about 65, 68 pips. Now remember, 10%. 60 pips would be lovely, of course, but we're looking for 10%. All right. <clears throat> now we got NU. NU's been in a downtrend since about July 30th, and it's been on its third touch. So what I want NU to do is I actually want it to come back down to this market structure so that we can take it for the buy for its first touch, or for, for its fourth touch. Then once it gets back to this fourth touch, we're gonna take it for the sell. Now this is basically doing, hopping in for the buy and hopping in for the sell, because we're trying to eat both ways. Now the reason why we're doing that is because you understand market structure. So you understand, okay, it came down, hopped up, came down, hopped up, came down, hopped up, came down, hopped up, came down, broke through, been consolidating, consolidating, consolidating. So now, like we all know the market can go, only go up or down anyways. So it's either gonna come back down here and let us hop in, or it's gonna come up here and we're just gonna hop in for the sell. But if it comes back down here, we're gonna get in for the buy for about, I'll probably come around like right here-ish. And then we're gonna get in for about like 80 pips and then hop in for the sell and go brazy and try to get it at least a million pips. But remember, 10%. All right, two more, two more, and then I'm going to send another call. All right, now we also have UCAD here. UCAD's been in a downturn since about June. So what we're doing here is I am waiting for it to hit one of these zones. Either it's going to come down here, and that, I'm going to show you guys what this zone is right here. which is a weekly uptrend. Because as you see, it's been an uptrend since about September, but because of this big ass drop, it's been in the downtrend. So what we're gonna do is follow the downtrend until it comes back here. Then we're gonna go back to following that uptrend. All right, so we could capitalize on a few pips right there and I'm gonna show you because once it comes up here, we're gonna be able to hop in for a quick sell for about 150 pips. But remember, we're only looking for 10%. 150 pips will be lovely, about 10%, all right? And then one more, which is Euro chat. Now, This one has been in the consolidation since about July. So it's been playing up in here, playing up in here. Now you have strong zones right here that I'm also gonna be looking and paying attention to. So what I want this pair to do, as you see it's buying like shit right now, we're not gonna get FOMO and be like, oh my God, I need to hop in now. We want our analysis to play out, even though we got to touch about what, 12 hours ago it's saying? Uh, for eight, well, eight hours ago we're still going to wait for it to come back down to us in our session because we understand that we're only going to trade in the London session. We're not going to trade in the Sydney session if this pair is a London session pair. So in the London session, we're expecting this pair to come back down here and follow simple market structure of the consolidation and hop in for the buy for about 50 pips. Now remember, 10%. 50 pips would be lovely, but we're looking for 10%. All right, so I just went over about like 12 pairs maybe, I think, maybe 15 pairs with you guys that we're gonna be waiting to hop into tonight. 
Now we're probably out of these 15 pairs that I marked up. We're probably getting to two, three. Now, if there's more, we'll see. If there's more setups that they're telling us, we'll, 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 we'll see and we might hop in. All right. But like I said, this is going to be for educational purposes. You know, I'm not the one teaching because I'm not an educator. I want you guys to be learning from the people that I learn from. So I'll, like I said, I'm going to be playing some go lives, a go live a day, because we all should be watching at least a go live a day. And we're going to get back to the basics. So we're going to be watching either Abel Melendez or Joshua Walls. All right. But I'm going to make that decision up by the time I send this new link. So I am going to send you guys a new link right now because this calls about to end. So BRB.